Hi and welcome to another Node Red video. In this video, we're going to look at uh, running system commands uh, from within Node Red. And a system command is something like uh, like ping or copy or directory dir for a directory listing. And to do that, we need the exec node, which is here. And it says here it runs a system command. And if you look at the information on this uh, this node, this exec node, you'll find that I'll just put it there. It's actually very detailed and well worth a read. So I recommend you reading through the the info on on this node. And in this flow, we're going to use it using the ping command, and we're also going to use it using the copy command. This is actually running on a Windows machine, so I'm using copy. On Linux, you'd use cp command rather than copy. Uh, I've chosen these commands because they're really uh, standard commands, and they're available on, um, on on Windows, and they're available on, on on Linux. So you can actually do this flow or install this flow on your own machine, and you can you can run it. So let's have a look at the ping command. And if we just do a ping, this is Windows. So we need the slash question mark. It gives you all the available options on the ping command. And normally we just use it with the host and like that. On Windows, it defaults to four. Um, on Linux, it actually defaults to just continuous. So you have to use a command line switch. And we look at using command line switches with this. So we're basically going to run this command and we're going to run it from within node red. So here's a flow here and you can see I've got various ping commands down here and I'm going to show you the difference between these in a second. And in this one here we're just going to inject the timestamp. The timestamp is just going to kick the flow off. It does nothing else. And if we look at the exact node here it's just got the ping and in here we've got the name of the site to ping this is google.com uh, i've put a timeout on this as 20 seconds so if it doesn't finish within 20 seconds the process is actually killed and that's it we're done now you notice it's got three outputs and the first output is the standard uh, output which you would see at the console this is what you'd be seeing here that output there the next one is the standard error and the last one is the reason code and the reason code is basically did it succeed or didn't it succeed and a zero is success and anything else is is a fail and you can use this this reason code uh, further on in the flow to determine whether the command was successful or not so let's just take a quick look and let's run it so we're just going to put the debug node on and notice they're all enabled that's disabled now they're enabled and so if I just inject the timestamp you can see the process ID comes there this node is active and you can see the result on the right hand side now you can see here that's the standard output and there's the reason code here you can see I've labeled these nodes here out error reason you can see here there's the reason and it's zero which means it succeeded here and you can see the results here. So you'd pass this into a function node and you'd pass this, this data and you could use this data in, in the flow. So let's go to the next one, which is very similar, except this time I'm inserting the, the name of the host in the payload. And on the ping command, we've just got ping, we've got nothing in here, and we've got this box ticked here. So we're going to append it to the payload and it's going to work the same way as the other one. So let's clear that off and inject. I can see the node active and there we are there. So now we're going to look at options and the option I'm going to show you here is a very simple one. This is on Windows. You'd have to choose the option on, on Linux. And it basically is going to ping it seven times. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go, seven times. Okay, so it's minus N7. And you can see I've inserted it here as part of the inject node. Let's clear that. And inject it. And just take a quick look at the ping. It's just saying ping there, nothing else. And we're going to use the message payload to append. 
So we click on it and there's the process ID come up and there it is there. It's pinged it seven times. Okay the last one here on the inject node I'm just using www.google.com and the ping command we append the payload so we're going to append google.com and this time I'm adding this on the line here minus n7 and let's clear the thing and inject and again you can see we run seven times that now let me just shoot all the way down to the bottom and the last ping example here this time you can see the obvious mistake here I've got a mistake in the domain name uh, other than that the ping command is the same and now we inject it here and you can see straight away it throws an error and you can see the reason node here is saying code 1 it's a, a failure and this node here you can see when I highlight this it highlights the debug node can you see that I can't move the mouse because it changes it but you can see it's highlighting the debug node that it's a, that this message is coming from this is coming from the out it's not coming from the error it's coming from the out node and it basically is the is the message you'd get if you did this from the command line so if I went to the command line and run the, that exact com same command that's what I'd see here okay so that's the ping and the last two we're going to do we're going to do a copy so this is the copy running the copy we're going to get the faster copy from the payload and this is the payload the inject node here and I'm going to copy this file here to this file here before you I do that I'll just go and show you the the directory so here's the directory it's got the file test in there and so let's run the flow and just inject and you can see code 0 means it's success one file copied quick look at the directory you can see the file there so let's delete it and go down to the second flow this time I'm not using the payload I'm just copying and I'm using this line here to append to the the command here to pass arguments to the command should I say and it's exactly the same as we saw on the inject and clear that and inject and again you can see it's it's worked and there it is there okay uh, very useful node the exec node very useful if you've got um, programs we've already written um, that you need to use from within node red that you can use them using this node here uh, I'll just finish off by showing you a practical example I've got um, this is from my other website but it's an internet monitor I use it for monitoring uh, my internet connections the, the download and upload speed and it use, uses a command called um, speedtest.cli or dash cli and I'll just show you that here it's available the command is available for Linux and um, and Windows and Mac it does take arguments but you can just run it without arguments and you can see it's testing my internet speed so rather than run that manually I've incorporated that into node red and I'll show you the flow I've got and it's available for download I say I'll put a link in the video below if you actually want to to use this flow as well and also the demo flow I've just been using is available for download as well so here's a flow here and it's there's a speed test command here it's using a simple argument it's JSON that's the station which produces a JSON output and I use that JSON output and I decode it in this function and I display it on the dashboard here 
and I also send it off to the to a database. You can see it here. So it's been stored in a database as well. And this is what it looks like. You can see here there's the internet speed there on a on a graph. Okay, that's the end of the video. If you've got any comments then please leave them below. If you like the video then click on the like button below. And if you'd like to get notified of new videos on the channel, then you can always subscribe and click on the, the bell icon to actually get notified. If you use social media and like to share the video on social media, then please feel free. Until the next time, goodbye.